Hello and good morning. We're going to take you through today how to download and install Google Chrome. So many of you know Microsoft Edge, as shown here, comes as default browser on Windows. And if you search for Chrome, there's a little message by Microsoft saying there's no need to download a new web browser. Microsoft recommends using Microsoft Edge for fast, secure and modern web experience that can help save you time and money. Um, a bit of hyperbole there, but there's absolutely no problem with using Chrome. And if you search for it, it will come up as the top link. So the google.co.uk website slash Chrome. So if we click onto that, We'll go to the official web page. Microsoft is still going to nag you to kind of stay with it, saying it runs the same technology as Chrome. It does after Chrome beat um, Internet Explorer in the old browser wars. Um, so there's a box to tick to help make Google Chrome credit by automatically send users statistics and crash reports to Google. It's a bit sneaky in the way that it ticks that on the download page rather than present it in the installer. So if you don't want that, if you're concerned about privacy, you can uncheck that. And then you need to click the download Chrome button, which will automatically set your operating system and download the appropriate file for you. So once you click download Chrome, thanks for downloading. There's just a few steps left. So your download should begin automatically if you didn't click download Chrome manually. Sometimes you might need to do that. Edge was hiding it there in the corner on the downloads button. So if you click on that, you can then click open file for Chrome setup. Try to discourage you anyway it can. You'll get user access control because it needs to change data in your hard disk. So just click yes on that. And then the setup will take over itself. So it will download some additional files for the Chrome browser, which shouldn't take that long. Only a matter of about 20 seconds. At this stage, we can close Edge over here whilst that's happening. So then we're back to our desktop. Once the download's complete, it's then going to start to install, which shouldn't take long at all. So it will do the scrolling bar while it thinks about it, and then it will go up to 100% quite rapidly. And then you've got Chrome installed on your computer, desktop icon, easy peasy, no options to configure, and then you're ready to start going with Chrome. You can set up your browser in a few steps, make Chrome your own by signing into your Google account if you have one by clicking the already a Chrome user sign in. And if not, you can click get started and that will take you to um, where you can configure your favorite Google apps. So if you put Gmail, YouTube and Maps, for example, you can click next, pick a background for your Chrome. So let's go with a bit of earth, shall we? You can preview it or a cityscape, uh, landscape. Yeah, geometric shapes looks good. And then set Chrome as your default browser. If you want to keep Edge as your default browser, then you want to skip this. If you want to use Chrome for all your browsing needs, which is what we would recommend, if you click set as default, it will take you through to your settings. And you can configure your default app. So Microsoft Edge is down here. And if you click on that, you can click this button to set it as a default, which we don't want. As you can see, Edge is still a default for all our web files if we go back to default apps and you go to google chrome you can click make google chrome your default browser so set default and it will change everything it can to chrome some things it'll leave because it's better handled by microsoft microsoft specific technologies for example but then all your http and https requests your websites and your html files which are what websites are built with um, will all stay then as Chrome. Now, if you click set its default, you will see a tick showing that that has happened. So, if we close that now, you're now ready to use Chrome. So, you can start searching for anything, test, accept all, so we can see it's connected to the internet and Google Chrome is working for you. Hope that helps. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tech related videos, and we shall see you shortly. Bye.